Okay. In our previous class, we had been talking about the summary of George Orwell Animal Farm. And we started and most probably we finished two or three chapters. It is a short novel. Three chapters, sir. Three chapters we finished, is it? And uh, uh, we will start from the uh, fourth chapter. It is a very short novel. Hopefully we will finish summarizing the um, novel in today's class. Okay. And the next class we will try to uh, watch the movie of this any, uh, novel, Animal Farm. Okay, so just a brush up. Uh, chapter one uh, starts with the honor of Mr. Jones. He is the honor. And then there was an old peak. Its name was Old Major. Old Major delivered a speech to rebel against the human honor of this animal farm. And he did it. All the animal, all the animals gathered in the big farm to hear the speech of old major. And then all were inspired by the speech given by old major. And this old major said that uh, human being are very much tyrannical to animal. And for this reason, uh, every, boy, every animal should rebel against their human master. And they also compose a song and that is the anthem of animalism. And this is called Beast of England. And you see, this is the song in our previous class, we uh, tried to recite the song. And uh, in chapter two, old major dies and animals secretly plan the rebellion and pigs are placed in church to reduce the animals uh, by, about animalism. And Snowball and Napoleon, they are the most important animal leaders. Snowball started to teach the animal and the rebellion occurs and the animal became successful. And at the end of chapter two, uh, Snowball changed the name of the animal farm to, uh, sorry, manor farm to animal farm and paints the seven commandment of animalism on the wall. And these are the, we can say, these are the seven basic rules on which animalism started their journey in this animal farm. And these are the seven commandments. Whatever goes up on two legs is an enemy. Whatever goes up on four legs and has wings is a friend. No animals, no animal shall wear clothes like human being. No animals, uh, no animal shall sleep in a bed. No animals shall sleep in a bed. No animals shall drink alcohol. No animals shall kill any other animal and all animals are equal. The seven, seventh commandment is highlighted to give importance that all animal will be equal because at the end of the chapter two, they, that means the animals rebel against their human master and their human master was driven away. And chapter three, the farming tools designed for uh, humans. And also they finished their farming earlier than human beings. And Snowball forms a number of animals committee, all of which fail. Napoleon educates the yacht and takes the infant pups of Jesse and Bluebell for educational purpose. This was happening in chapter three. And in chapter four, summer ends. News of rebellion is spread to other farms. 
John's complain his troubles to to neighboring farmers, Pickington and Frederick. In our previous class, we have learned that in animal farm, surrounding the animal farm, there are two other farms owned by human being. One owner's name is Pickington and another another's name is Frederick. Both of them owned a farm. So Mr. Jones went to this human friend and claimed about that uh, he has lost his farm for the rebellion of for the rebellion of animals. In October, Jones and his men attempt to seize control once again. Okay, because Mr. Jones tried to get control of his farm once again. And, uh, and for this reason, he came up with several his fellow men to get his control once again. Snowball, an extraordinary tactician. We know that the two peak leader, one is uh, Snowball and Napoleon. We know other um, peak leader also. However, Snowball became very uh, efficient and showed his tactics to help uh, in this fight and with the help of the other animals drives Jones and his man once again. So Mr. John tried to get control of his farm once again, but this time Mr. John and his Jones and his um, man was driven away by the animals. Animals celebrate victory, what they call the Battle of Cowshade. So it, this battle that took place between Mr. Jones and uh, Mr. Jones and his men, and this is once again driven by the animals, and this is and this battle is called the Battle of Cowshade. And in chapter five, we see that winter comes and Molly works less and less. And Clover discovers Molly is being bribed of Pickington's men. Sorry. It's okay, sir. Sorry. Uh, in this chapter, we see that winter comes and Molly, Molly is another um, animal and he is uh, naturally very, uh, naturally likes uh, pleasure and comfort. Okay. And Clover also find that, that this Molly has gone to Pickington's man, that means the neighboring uh, farm. Molly disappears. Pigeons report seeing her standing outside a pub and sporting one of the ribbons and she always uh, coveted. So this Molly always loves. Rubiul Alam Bangladesh. Who is this Rubiul Alam Bangladesh? So this, this Molly always like, uh, likes pleasure. Okay. The pig increases their influence on the farm. Okay. So um, in the uh, chapter three, we have learned that the pigs become the director and the supervisor of, of the farm. So all, all started to uh, join 
uh, uh, all started um, uh, to gain control over the other animals of the uh, farm. Okay, so the pig became the influential animals leader in the farm. Snowball and Napoleon's greatest debate occurs over the building of a windmill. So you see that the uh, a snowball gave the idea of building a windmill within the farm. And windmill, we know that naturally windmill is used to produce electricity. And uh, snowball gave the idea to the farm. However, uh, always Snowball and uh, Napoleon, they are in a debate. What Snowball will say, Napoleon will disregard that. Napoleon will not admit, Napoleon will not admit Snowball's, uh, Snowball's uh, uh, suggestion that they, sh they should build, uh, and they should build a, uh, Mm, uh, uh, windmill within the farm. Snowball arg argues in favor of the windmill, calling it a labor saving device. Napoleon argues it will take time and effort. Someone is nudge. Okay, so Nojrul Islam. Hello. Nozrul Islam. Nozrul Islam. Can you hear us? Nozrul Islam. Sir, I can hear you. But what is your rule number? Did you I, sign? I did not. Yeah? No, sir. Uh, write your ID number and connect it once again, okay? Uh, Rabiul Alam Rabiul Alam Okay sir I'm coming once again Write uh, uh, write your rule number it Okay, okay sure 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 okay. sir Rabiulam Bangladesh it shows. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, good. So um as we had been talking that uh Snowball and Napoleon in a debate whether they will be building a windmill within the within the animal farm or not. Okay. And uh, and we had been talking earlier that what Sonobol will suggest that and Napoleon will disregard that. Napoleon will disagree to Sonobol's proposal. Okay. Snowball, it is obviously a good thing that the, if the animal could build a windmill within the animal farm, it will be helpful for the all animals. It is obvious. But Napoleon, uh, first, time, first time he said that it will take much more time and energy. So the debate, uh, Napoleon and Slobon, uh, Snowball argue in their point. Okay. And on the Sunday, when they are in a condition that no, no, Napoleon is putting argument and Snowball is also putting argument in his favor, then in a democratic system, on the Sunday, the plan for windmill is to be put to a vote. Okay, so every Sunday, the animal would gather in the big farm to hear the speech of uh, uh, hear the speech of um, 
Napoleon and Snowball and others. Okay, so uh, when the debate uh, came, whether the windmill will be building within the uh, farm premises or not, this decision came to vote and they, they will uh, vote whether the windmill will be building or not. Okay, and uh, this was the condition. But when the plan uh, went to went for voting, abruptly Napoleon calls out the nine ferocious dogs who chase Noble. Uh, Mehdi Hassan Bulbul, he is there. Mehdi Hassan Bulbul. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, you can leave the meeting and write your rule number once again. Meeting leave and join once again. Write your name and followed by your rule number, okay? Okay, sir. Okay, for the attendance purpose. Okay, sir. Oh my God. Okay, so then uh, what we have learned in previously when uh, the nine puppies were born from Jesse and Bluebell, these nine puppies were taken by Napoleon for the educational purpose. And nobody could see, couldn't see these nine puppies until this day. Actually, what did Napoleon do? Napoleon kept all the nine puppies within the... Uh, within uh, in a secret room in a secret room and they were nurtured in a very good way and all became very strong and ferocious these nine puppies so when the debate in in uh, on the sunday uh, on the sunday evening the debate occurs between snowball and napoleon this napoleon ordered the nine puppies to attack Snowball. So the Napoleon's dog, this ferocious dog, start, came and chased Snowball of the farm. Okay. So the Napoleon's, uh, uh, Napoleon, uh, Napoleon dogs, uh, guard dogs, chased um, Snowball out of the farms. And Napoleon, announces that all debates will stop and institute a number of other new roles for the farm. When, when uh, Snowball was chased by Napoleon dog, then Napoleon became the, Napoleon be, became the leader of this farm. And this Undisputed leader became more powerful and Napoleon tried to control all over the farm and he established some new rules for the farms. And what are the new rules? We will see successively. Three weeks after Snowball's escape, Napoleon surprises everybody by announcing that the windmill will be built. So the same windmill proposed by Snowball, and it was proposed by Snowball, and for this new reason, Napoleon disregarded Snowball's idea. But after three weeks, the same Napoleon came up with the idea of windmill among the animals. So all animals were surprised. So this is the uh, Snowball's idea that we will be building a windmill. However, Napoleon, you said that windmill is a 
matter of time and it will it will take much time and it will uh, it will take much effort and energy to build our animal so again um, animal all animal is started to ask question and they were very much surprised here came the another pig and its name was squaler and squaler is the mouthpiece of napoleon okay squaler came to the animals to explain he said that the windmill was actually napoleon's idea okay but stolen from him by snowball okay so when all animals were surprised that this is the idea of the snowball so how the napoleon once again come up with the proposal of building the windmill okay so here so squaler said that actually uh, windmill was the idea of napoleon it was stolen by snowball and for this reason snowball was driven away by the ferocious dog applied by napoleon sir yes sir did snowball really i mean stole the steal the windmill no so can't anybody could see couldn't anybody see that it is not really actually lost okay and it was the all the animals were uh, pacified by the squaler okay and um, as we have learned that that uh, squaler become the uh, mouth piece of napoleon and squaler is very rhetoric okay and uh, whenever snowball was chased then uh, napoleon became the undisputed leader and whenever a question comes for napoleon decision or the roles they were uh, they were pacified by this uh, pig squaler squaler says this and all animals believed so okay so this animal are not uh, very much um, uh, wise as snowball and the other animals okay um, uh, have you got the point yes sir okay uh, tumpakter and me tumpakter Tumpakter. 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 Hello, Tumpakter. Uh, okay, so Napoleon announces, uh, uh, so we are in the uh, point that Napoleon came up with the idea of building windmill once again. So when the animals uh, all the animals surprised then uh, squaler said that it was actually the idea of uh, idea of napoleon and it was stolen by a snowball and we have also said that snowball when was snowball was chased off by napoleon's dog every time napoleon became uh, uh, snowball became the scapegoat for every if anything happens within the um, uh, 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 farm territory it was said that a snowball is responsible for them next year the animals work harder than ever before building windmill and
टुम्पा अख्तर टुम्पा कैन यू हियर आस लैबोरियसनेस Boxer, a model of physical strength and dedication, and Napoleon announces, animal farm will begin trading with neighboring farms. Okay, so in chapter six, that with the hard work of boxer, you will see that when we had been discussing that in the um, in uh, uh, we had been analyzing the um, character, we see that boxer is a horse, and this horse is very dedicated. and full of strength and laborious so with the help of the other animals boxer tried a lot and the windmill started okay in the in chapter 6 however when the windmill is started to work uh napoleon announces that animal farm will begin trading with the neighboring farms in the seven commandment of animalism it is learned that the animal will not do business with others okay but in chapter 6 we see that when napoleon became the undisputed leader he announces that animal announce, uh, uh, napoleon announces that he will be doing business with the neighboring farm okay and not only that he hires a man mr Pers uh, mr wimper a solicitor to act as his agent so who will negotiate to the neighboring farm for doing business in this regard napoleon appointed a person a human being and his name is wimper wimper will be contacting with uh, to the neighboring farm to do business among the animals though it violates their uh, commandments that means the seven commandments of animalism human discuss when mel will collapse abu hanif sir can we get and miss breaks of to say our prayer uh yeah you can uh, you can leave uh and you say your prayer and you may return okay, okay. thank you sir Tajul Islam can you hear me Yes sir I am hear you Okay Tajul Islam uh, uh, write your rule number okay and for this reason what you have to do you have to uh, leave the meeting okay and then you have written uh, your name and after uh, your name you will be writing your rule number okay and join once again Got okay. the Okay thank you Okay, okay so uh uh it was the situation when animal farm built a windmill the human beings of the neighboring farm they would they had been discussing that no the windmill built by the animal will collapse okay and animal farm will go bankrupt okay that that is their um, assumption that he, uh, that the farm is run by the animal not only that the animal uh, animals have built a windmill it is very fantastic and not only that the so human being started to discuss that their windmill will collapse and naturally the um, animal farm will go bankrupt okay so this john gives up his attempt so uh, and moves to another part of the country john the previous 
owner of this manor farm or the animal farm, he went somewhere else and uh, mm, what happened to Tumpa? Hello, Tumpa. Hello, Tumpa. Hello, Tumpa. Hello. Uh, Tumpa? Yes, there's something is problem in my mobile phone, sir. Okay, so where you are writing, I, I writing your name, okay? Yes, sir. Uh, at the same time, you will write your name, and the, where you have read, write your name, you will write your rule number first, then write your, without any, uh, don't go somewhere else, then write your uh, rule number and your name. Then it will come in such a way, okay? Okay, sir, I'm okay. trying. Okay, and actually for the attendance purpose, we are doing so, okay? Yes, sir, I understood. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Okay, so, uh, uh, so John, uh, John's the previous owner of the animal farm, give up his uh, mouthfuls. Sir, may we have a 20 minute break? We or you? For prayer. Okay, you may, you may leave the uh, meeting. I'm talking about all I of us. Too, sir. Yeah? Okay. Uh, all of the person who want to go for prayer, you may leave the meeting and return okay no problem okay sir thank you sir okay so uh so the um, jones gives up his attempt to uh, retain his farm and uh, uh, didn't come back, okay, and moves to another part of the country. Pigs move into the farmhouse, begin sleeping in beds, okay. So among the seven commandments of animalism, it was one of the commandment that the animals will not sleep in beds, okay. But when animals become prosperous, they built a windmill, they started doing business to the neighboring farm. And not only that, they started the Jones house, that means within the farm, there was a house owned by Mr. Jones. They kept it, all the animals kept it as a museum. But when they became prosperous, when the animal farm became prosperous, pigs started to visit the human uh, Jones house and they started to sleep in human bed. Okay, that means this is the violation of another uh, um, uh, commandment established by, for animalism. A square, a square are excuses. Okay, so in such a position, again, a square are come forward uh, to the animals. And he said that pigs need their rest after the daily strain of running the farm. Okay, in previ previously we have learned that the Peaks become the supervisor and the directors of the farm. And they have, uh, they are the wise animals. And for this reason, they, 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 they started to run the uh, farm in their own way. And not only that, we have also learned that the windfall apples and milk given by the cows all would go as a food of pigs because uh, Squalor at the time said that the, they, are the, they are doing uh, something for the betterment of the farm. And for this reason, the delicious food are needed by the pigs. And for this reason, uh, pigs will be drinking cow's milk and they will be taking uh, uh, apples for their mental health. Here we see again Squalor comes with an excuse and he says that pigs need to rest and proper rest and for this reason they started to sleep in beds 
However, it was one of the uh, violations of the seven commandments. That November, I storm topples the half finished windmill. Okay. Actually, the windmill was not totally ready. Okay. But in the November, for the heavy, strong wind, the windmill toppled down. That means, bhenge pora, kaath hoye jawa, shita hoye gilo. And Napoleon tells, snowball is responsible for this. And not only that, so snowball has already been chased off by the uh, by Napole Napoleon's ferocious dog. Okay. However, here we see that whenever windmill uh, was partially broken down, Napoleon gave responsibility to snowball. That snowball has come over here, and he has snowball has broken this windmill. Not only that, Snowball offers a reward to any animals who kills Snowball or bring him back alive. Okay. Napoleon should have died. He met a clone. Napoleon push car. Goshna Kolo. J. J. Snowball came. Marte Parbe. Otho Bataka G. Bito Dori Ante Parbe. Arjunate a push car. Goshna Kolo. Napoleon. Okay. However, it was one of the commandments of animalism that any animal will not kill other animal. Here, Napoleon also violates another commandment that uh, rewarding, uh, rewarding, uh, 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 deli uh, offering rewards for the animals who can kill a snowball. Napoleon declares, begin rebuilding the windmill that very morning so napoleon again uh, ordered all the animals to start uh, uh, building the windmill once again and human world waits for news of its failure human um, owner of the neighboring farm they had been waiting that the animal farm will fail one day and uh, the, all the animals on the animal farm will go bankrupt. So they had been waiting. But animals struggle against starvation. Napoleon spread news of animals farm uh, sufficiency to the human world. So Napoleon spread the news that we have sufficient food in our stock. And all the, uh, however, uh, the matter is that uh, when John was the owner of the animal farm, uh, uh, animal didn't get much food. Same thing happening when Napoleon became the owner of this uh, animal farm. He became the leader. And for this reason, all animals started, started to struggle uh, for food. However, Napoleon spread it, the news to the other animal farm that we have sufficient food and we can also sell food to other uh, neighboring farms. Okay. In this regard, hands uh, started a demonstration. Murgira tarar khabar paina mane age jerukum khabar peto ba ekdomi khabar paina e jeno tara ekta bidroho korlo. Okay. Bidro kolo ki je amra dim dei, okay? She dim, dimer bodolo the amra khabar paina she rokom. Ejon no amra dim di bona, okay? Ta hands pote ta murgi bollo je hands must surrender their eggs and hands stays a demonstration ends when they can no longer live without the ration, okay? And Napoleon had denied them. Nine hens die as a result of the protest. So, Murgira ki bidro kollo? Murgira bidro kollo? Je amra ar ei nicher je jagay dim dei, she dim jagay amra dim dei, abong dim Napoleon er location niye jai. Ejono Napoleon e jagay amra dim di bona. Ta hole amra ki korbo? Murgira shobai upore utte laglo, abong upore uthe upor theke dim 
দিতে লাগলো এবং উপর থেকে যখন ডিম দেয় তখন ডিমগুলো মাটিতে পড়ে আর ভেঙে যায় ডিমগুলো মাটিতে পড়ে আর ভেঙে যায় এটাই ছিল তাদের বিদ্রোহ ওকে Naim Hussain. Yes, sir. I'm hearing, sir. Okay, Naim Hussain, write your rule number, please. And for this reason, you have to leave the meeting, and once again, you have to join with your name and rule number. Have you understood? Okay, sir. I'm doing that. I just come <laughs> here, and I'm going to do that. Okay, okay. Good. Thank you. Do it. And this is necessary for the, your attendance purpose. So, uh, so the hens hens jara murgi ra bidroho korlo je amra ar matite dim debo na amra kothai dim debo tara khachar upore upor theke dim dite laglo dim gulo matite porlo ebong dim gulo bhenge jete thaklo napoleon o boshe thaklo na napoleon tader khabar bondho kore dilo puro puri okay ebong ei jonno tara 9 din ei rokom bidroho chollo ebong bidroho cholar pore ki holo na 9 din na কয়েকদিন বিদ্রোহ চলল এবং এর ফলে না খেতে পেরে নয়টা মুরগি মারা গেল our wine mill and for this reason snowball is our only enemy okay and then uh, he uh, constant and imagine threat to the animal security so napoleon said that snowball is a threat of our security escuela tells snowball has sold himself to frederick in league with johns from the uh, from the very beginning so snowball again supported uh, uh, Napoleon in such a way that from the very beginning Snowball was our enemy and not only that Snowball had a relationship with our the neighboring farm Frederick's farm and for this reason Snowball is a threat of our security for the long time. Next is spring Napoleon calls a meeting. He forces confession from all those who had questioned him. Four pigs and three hens and napoleon at a jury emergency meeting daklo meeting deke e porjonto napoleon er against e jara prashno koreche thank you naim hosen thank you napoleon at a emergency meeting daklo এবং মিটিং ডেকে সবাইকে বলল যে যারা এ পর্যন্ত আমার এগেনস্টে প্রশ্ন করেছ তারা দোষ স্বীকার করো কনফেস করো ওকে এবং সেখানে দেখা গেল যে ফোর পিক্স এবং মুরগিরা যখন বিদ্রোহ করেছিল এরকম তিনজন তিনটি মুরগি তারা তাদের দোষ স্বীকার করলো যখন দোষ স্বীকার করলো নেপোলিয়ান মার্ডার them by the dogs by the dogs that means the uh, nine ferocious dogs that means the nine puppies of jesse and blobel so this is one once again the violation of one of the seven commandment that no animal kill another animal here napoleon he has become the leader but napoleon is a animal and for this reason this animal kills another animal so napoleon uh, again violated the another commandment of animalism the singing of beast of england it outlawed and a new song by minimus napoleon's peak big 
poet and is instituted animals do not find the song as meaningful as their previous anthem napoleon ei porjay eshe bollo je amader je previous je songit best of england eta khub purono hoye geyeche eta ke change kora dorkar ejonno sei songit ta ke change kore tar jaygay ekta arekta songit uposthapon korlo jeta kina likhe dilo arek jon peak tar naam holo minimus and it, it, this minimus is a poet peak ebong this poet peak wrote this for napoleon and beast of england was abolished and in this place came a new anthem written by minimus for napoleon next uh, next next year more work on the windmill and less food for the workers square square lists food production has increased dramatically under napoleon rule napoleon grows more powerful seen in public less open okay sorry i am taking few seconds of you to make it larger so so, so next year what happened that more work on the windmill and less food for the workers so squaler said that uh, more food production uh, food production has increased at the time of napoleon dramatically okay and napoleon grows more powerful more powerful seen in public less often and minimus list his merits and virtues so minimus is the as i have said that even minimus is the poet peak he started to list the merits and benefits of napoleon ruling uh, uh, position okay napoleon schemes to sell a pile of timbers to frederick who is alternately rumored to be a sadistic torturer of animals and the victim of unfounded gossip so napoleon took decision that he will be selling the pile wood pile to the frederick however frederick is is very cruel to the uh, to the animals of his own farm so uh, napoleon took decision after the completion of the new windmill in august napoleon sells the pile of timber to frederick and not only that napoleon demands cash which he receives however Wimper learns that Frederick banknotes are forgeries. Okay, so this is the fake banknotes given by Frederick to Napoleon. So Napoleon sold wood pile to the human beings according to the commandment of animalism that animal will not be doing business with other uh, human beings. But animal uh, Napoleon started doing business with human beings, and not only that, he got cash, and that cash was false. it was discovered by wimper napoleon pronounces death sentence to the traitorous traitorous human next morning frederick and 14 men arrive in animal farm at him to take it by force okay so once again there was a battle against frederick uh, 
came to get control of the animal farm with the 14 men. Human are initially successful. So the man, Frederick and his men were successful at the initial stage, but the animal made a special plan. And for the plan, they, first of all, animal uh, allow them to come within the farm and next time they were chased. So human being were initially successful and they blow up the windmill and the animals are completely in wrecked and drive the man from the farm. So first of all, human being were successful in the battle. However, uh, when they blow up, when Frederick and his man blew up the windmill, the animals became very much angry towards Frederick and they were driven. Frederick and his men were driven uh, by, uh, by the animals. Okay, and the animals became victorious. Squaler explained to the bleeding animals, they were actually victorious in the battle of the windmill. So this battle is called the battle of windmill. And in this, uh, Squaler said that they have become victorious in this uh, fight against human being. That means Frederick and his men. Some days later, pigs discovered a chase of whiskey in John's cellar. Okay. So, uh, uh, cellar is the underground container of drinks, alcohol actually. Okay. And in the cellar, uh, or container of alcohol. So, according to the commandment, seven commandment of animalism, it was that the no animal will drink alcohol. But it was found here that some alcohol are in, uh, uh, in John's cellar. That means it is uh, used by uh, the pigs. After drinking too much of it, Napoleon fears he is dying and decrees that the drinking of alcohol is punishable by death. Agdin Napoleon on a drink or a fellow, abong she boy pegelo, jehoche je mara jabeshe. Okay. Takon she act a decree jaricol, like a notu niom jaricolo animal der mote, jehoche akon take a je drink or be, take mitu dondo da hobe. Napoleon feels better, orders to plant barley. Atudin. A animal farmer mode the unno genish uh chashoto kin the akon she a animal farmer mode the bar barley ropon cotabolo cano. Barley is an ingredient of making alcohol. Okay. The chapter ends with the mural rereading the seven commandments and noticing for the first time that the fifth fifth commandments now reads no animal shall drink alcohol to excess. Prothom commandment ta chilo, prothom e jokhon original commandment chilo, shei commandment ta te erikom chilo, no animal shall drink alcohol. Shekhane duita word jukto kore dea hoye chhe, to excess. That means less number of alcohol or less quantity of alcohol is uh, legal for the animals. So this is once again the violation of the seven commandment of animalism. So gradually, Napoleon became the undisputed leader and violating the commandments of animalism. Celebrate victory against Frederick. Animals start building a new windmill. Their efforts are again led by Boxer. Split hoof, working harder, and gets the windmill started before he retires. So Boxer, that's horse, started to work much harder than earlier okay and however he has become very much old and actually every uh, animal when they will be getting old they will take retirement from their job but boxer said that yes i will not retire before uh, before building this wine mill so boxer is started to work harder and harder however he got a split of his hope Still, he had been the horse had been working for building the wine mill. Food supplies is diminished. Squaler explains that have more food and better lives than they have even known. The food of the animals uh, were less in number, 
and however scholar said that we have much food we have we, we, we are getting more uh, more food than earlier napoleon orders a school room to be built for the education foods are reduced peaks continue to grow fatter a food for animals other animals cows horse uh, hens do uh, dogs uh, are reduced however pigs are getting fat that means pigs are getting more food in turn other animals are not getting more food so they are uh, other animals are starving however the pigs are getting fat for getting more food to eat animal farm proclaimed a republic and napoleon is elected the president so in this regard uh, boxer one day uh, collapse because of a lung ailment one day for his hard work and less food one day boxer became sick and fall down at the time of working scholar informs that napoleon has sent for the uh, veterinarian at willing don to treat him so veterinarian eta holo poshu hospital square er bollo je boxer oshustho hoye giyeche take poshu hospital e pathano hoyeche tar better treatment er jonno van arrives to take boxer to the hospital Benjamin reads its sight and learns that boxer is actually being taken to a necker uh, or glue boiler necker that means a person who business uh, whose business is the disposal of the dead or unwanted animals especially those whose flesh is not fit for human consumption uh, benjamin যে ভ্যানটাতে করে বক্সারকে নিয়ে যেতে এসেছে এই বক্সারের সাইডে ভ্যানের সাইডে তার পোস্টার লেখা আছে সেই পোস্টার পড়ে বেঞ্জামিন বলল যে না বক্সারকে আসলে পশু হাসপাতালে নেওয়া হচ্ছে না বক্সারকে নেওয়া হচ্ছে এই একজন মানুষ দ্বারা আসলে কষাইখানা কষাইখানাতে নেওয়া হচ্ছে এরকম একটা কথা যে সে আসলে এই যে পশুগুলো হচ্ছে একদম অসুস্থ হয়ে যায় তাদেরকে রিমুভ করে দেওয়ার জন্য এই সেখানে নেওয়া হচ্ছে ক্লোভার স্ক্রিমস টু বক্সার টু স্কিপ ওকে ক্লোভার চিৎকার করতে লাগলো যে বক্সারকে বললো যে বের হয়ে আসো বের হয়ে আসো বাট দ্য ওল্ড হর্স ইস টু উইক টু কিক হিস ওয়ে আউট অফ দ্য ভ্যান হুইস ড্রাইভস অ্যাওয়ে বাট বক্সার অলসো ট্রাই টু গেট আউট অফ দ্য ভ্যান অন হুইচ হি ওয়াজ ট্রাইং টু get in uh, the um, uh, place that they are uh, it is supposed to take and but boxer couldn't came out of the uh, uh, room and boxer is never seen again okay er pore বক্সার কে আর দেখা যায়নি তার মানে বক্সার যখন বৃদ্ধ হয়ে গেল যখন কাজ করতে পারছিল না তখন বক্সারকে সরিয়ে দেওয়া হলো বলা হলো যে তাকে হাসপাতালে নেওয়া হচ্ছে আসলে তাকে সেখানে নেওয়া হলো না তাকে নেওয়া হলো একটা গ্লো বিল্ডার একটা কষাইখানার ওখানে টু প্ল্যাকেট দ্য এনিমালস স্কোয়ালার টেলস দেম that boxer was not taken to necker but the mohit alom mohit alom mohit alom baba kena toba kena mohit alom mohit alom taror microphone hoyto ba noshto hote pare
मोहित आलोम भलो सबाई भलो आ সবাই ভালো আছে বললো না আমরা ভালো আছি लुंगीम <laughs> 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 हासपाले <laughs> Uh, the animals squirrel tells them the boxer was not taken to the necker but that the uh, veterinarian had bought the necker squirrel er bollo je ashle uh, boxer ke hospital e newa hoyeche je hospital er je man she ashle tar je van ta niye aschilo she van ta ashle ek necker er kach theke kineche kintu tar upore je lekha chilo she lekha ta change korte bhule giyeche Okay, so the chapter ends with a grocer van delivering a, a crate of whiskey to the pigs, who drink it all and do not arise until afternoon the following day. Okay, so at the end of chapter nine, we see that a, a, a grocery van. That means if uh, just like uh, online shop nowadays. Okay. If you order something else, they will give the product to your house. So the grocery van came to the animal farm and they delivered a crate of whiskey. That means ek khachi whiskey. That they can give. She can go. And among shop, shopai, she din ato pori mane drink kollo. Je pori diner shara din bikal pori jundo dupur pori jundo tarar shopai khomat chilo. Okay. So this is uh, neighboring farmers are given a tour. of the farm okay so when uh, animal farm is in this stress all the neighboring farmers are invited to have a dinner okay they meet in the dining room with napoleon and the other pigs and the pickington toast to animals farm and its efficacy napoleon new policies okay so in the dining room naturally uh, all mr pickington and some other human Uh, owner of the animal farm they come over here and we know that it is a european tradition that the toast to wish for the good and prosperous life of the person whom they toast okay so pickington toast for the good health and the efficacy of the animal farm to napoleon napoleon now declares uh, declares his new policies what is the new policy the word comrades suppressed so at the first stage when old major and delivering the speech old major said all animals as comrades okay and uh, next time here in chapter 10 comrade said that uh, from this day this word comrade will not be used no more sunday meetings 
every Sunday, the animals would go for a meeting and they would discuss about their uh, every uh, details. But Napoleon uh, declares that from this day onwards, there will be no meetings on Sundays. Okay. And a skull of old major buried. Jokon old major mara chilo, second chapter amra dekhe chhe je mara gaye chilo. Ato din porjonto old major er matha ta okhane skull mathar khuli ta ke tangiye rakha hoye chilo. Ekta symptom hishe. Amita ke tarra shobai respect korto, shraddha korto. Napoleon shei order dilo, abong shei old major er matha ta ke shamadhisto kara holo. Farm flag, simple field of green. Er age. Flag যে যেকম ছিল সেই জায়গাটা থেকে চেঞ্জ করে অন্য রকম করা হলো নেপোলিয়নের কথা মতো বিকজ নেপোলিয়ন হ্যাজ বিকাম দা প্রেসিডেন্ট অফ দিস एनिमल রিপাবলিক এন্ড দা গ্রেটেস্ট চেঞ্জ কেম एनिमल ফার্ম উইল अगेन বি কলড ম্যানার ফার্ম সো ইন দা ফাইনাল স্টেজ উই সি দ্যাট एनिमल ফার্ম ওয়ান্স अगेन দা নেম ওয়াজ চেঞ্জড फ्रॉम एनिमल ফার্ম টু ম্যানার ফার্ম সুন আফটার নেপোলিয়ন্স স্পিচ the man and the pig began playing cards okay in this regard the napoleon uh, uh, man and pigs that means uh, there is a similarity between uh, pigs and human being at that time and for this reason they started playing cards after the dinner and the speech a loud quarrel erupts when both napoleon and pillington is try to play the as of spades ek porkarer tash khela shobai tash khelte chailo ek porkarer khela clover and the other animals watch through the dining room window clover the motherly horse and the other animals uh, watching the activities of the dining room in the dining room they saw that the these are the activities done by uh, uh, napoleon and the his uh, napoleon other pigs and uh, he, uh, and the human beings that means uh, pickington pilkington and others frederick and others they were unable to distinguish between humans and the pigs okay so among the another uh, all the commandments uh, most of the commandments were violated violated okay and one of the commandments was that that uh, animals will not wear clothes tara kokhono kapor porbe na kintu a clover among no me animals gulu jokon dining room er janla diye dekhchilo shekhane dekhlo je tara drink korche manusher sathe khawa dawa korche ebong tara kapor pore ache tara chair table e boshe ache ebong clover ebong onno animal ra bujhte parlo na je ashle manush ebong pig er moddhe adoki kono parthokko ache they can discriminate which one is pig and which one is human being and uh, this is the end of the uh, novella and you can also download this I, I have already sent it to you in your reading materials okay and uh, now it is exactly 7 30 uh, still we stop the slides and i can open the floor for the question answer session okay uh, today uh, thank you very much all of you joined with their uh, rule number and uh, academic name okay and uh, uh, thank you very much and next time you will follow these rules of joining with their nickname and um, uh, sorry nickname now academic name and roll number okay abu jubair i can see raised hand of abu jubair jubair do you have any questions yes sir yes sir. thank you for okay yes sir uh, i have a question sir um, today when i i was trying to join this class uh, there was kind of a notification that only the uh, selected email can join so sir Maybe you have a selection of our email. Only the uh, students, uh, I mean, accounts with those email can join this class. No, no, like that. Uh, actually, uh, 